it's our quick video on um, holding the pommel, okay, uh, with your with your long sword. Is it right or is it wrong? And this is prompted by a, a, a brief discussion online in the last couple of days, actually, um, because some sources say not to, and some sources imply or say that it's fine. Okay, so let's talk about it from a fury perspective. Um, the good news is my lockdown cardboard tube is no more. I've managed to secure a train in Albion from our school down in South Essex. Um, so I now have a lockdown sword at home, which is great. Uh, so thanks to Rupert. So I can show you this on an actual sword, which is great. Um, so there is a massive precedent within the works of Fury for gripping the pommel. Okay. Um, he shows both. He quite often shows a loose grip on the pommel like this. And he quite often shows as well the hands a little bit far, far further up so you're basically squarely on the hilt of the thing okay <clears throat> so it, whether or not this is right or wrong the answer actually lies in the middle sometimes it's right to have a grip like this if i'm making a strong frontale i need that stability with certain types of cutting action i might want that extra stability but more often than not in this system you want your hand around the pommel okay i've got a bit of extra leverage or a lot of extra leverage but what i actually have is a lot more dexterity i can change direction on the weapon much more quickly and um, which is great for some of our instabile guards like posta longa okay because what that will allow me to do okay is use that extra leverage okay with rotating the hand to change direction very quickly okay which is and, and indeed let it collapse quite quickly too so which I would struggle to do if my hands were both on the hill like this I'd have look it's a little bit a little bit more clumsy to rotate the thing whereas if my hand is down on the end there it's a lot easier okay but on the other side too although it's a bit weird um, because my left foot is forward but so by having your hand down here like this um, you have uh, greater dexterity and flexibility you can change direction of the weapon quickly and um, because it's relaxed and it goes with the weapon okay and, and again I'm right at the end of the, the grip so it's you get a you know that little bit more leverage as well okay um, <clears throat> so the the benefits though um, of having your hands close together like this um, is that as I say you get a bit more structure when you're doing a really solid cover or parry okay so sometimes the risk of doing a frontale cover with a grip on the pommel like this is that I, it doesn't give me as good a structure it's not quite as solid a cover as having my hand a little bit further up there's not much in it but it really depends if we're both armored and they are absolutely throwing them in i might want to just think about how much security i have with the grip on the weapon okay what we um also have to think about is how relaxed our grip is there's another video we've done recently about how to hold uh, a long sword uh, which was done by Bruno uh, our instructor in Q and that's on the channel so I'll put a link to that below but um, we want to have quite a loose grip most of the time on the weapon um, a good example would be Bicornio so if I come into posture Bicornio let's say I've come from uh, a high posture and I just want to cut into Bicornio what you'll see is a couple of things happen here my lead hand has actually rotated around like this okay so rather than being like this it's actually come around like that okay and my my left hand has actually also rotated as well okay so this is a good example this this cross will stay up I'm not swapping the weapon like that what I'm actually doing is swapping my grip like this which is a really good example of why it's really important to be relaxed and why having your hand around the pommel actually helps with that okay there's other ways to form by corneo as well this is generally our main way our cannon way um, so that's a rich, actually a really really good example and if i want to snap out from here into posta frontale for example i don't twist the weapon what i actually do is just twist my hands but because i've got a relaxed grip and because i'm round the pommel i actually don't have to do anything with this second hand okay i can actually just let the weapon twist through okay i don't need to power it with the second hand I can just let them come out. Back in, out, back in, out. Okay, so one example of about a million of why you want to have a really relaxed grip and why sometimes it is very advantageous to just grip the pommel. Okay, but it's horses for courses. Okay, 
there's a lot more to it than that but we're starting to go into to probably too much detail for a video like this um, but sometimes sometimes it's right if I want to make a really big cover or a really solid cut sometimes it's right to just let the hand drift up okay so hope it was useful bit of a ramble but it's that kind of day thanks for watching